Hello and welcome to the second tutorial for the Crazy Talk 7 text animated messaging service. So as I mentioned in the first part here, the first part of the tutorial was that this is um, a messaging service that you use with the Crazy Talk interactive plugin. Um, it allows you to create dynamic animated messages on the Reillusion server and then you can play this back on your own web page just like this, right? So the way this works is that you have your website and then you collect text. This text can be from an RSS feed, it can be weather report, online translation, or even the users can type this text inside. So this text will be sent to the Reillusion cloud server where it will be processed and it will generate an animation script for you with your own character, the auto motion you like, and the TTS voice that you like. And then that script animation will bounce back into your website and play via the Crazy Talk web player. So you now don't need to run Crazy Talk anywhere. You can basically use the Reillusion cloud server for this. Okay, so today what I'm going to show you is how to create, how to load text into your project. So as I mentioned, this is a this is part of the Crazy Talk 7 interactive plugin. And um, this is for the for web design. So inside we can go into sample codes, okay, and I could show you this part here, the loading script from text part. This is a new area that we have. So let's play this here. Okay. We have no script inside, no no text inside this part. So I could go inside and I can type something up. Do this quickly. Good morning. And welcome to the crazy talk um, text to animation messaging service. And inside, once I drop in the parameter for the text, I can then choose what kind of voice I want, the speed and pitch, and also the out motion style. So I can choose, for example, UK English female, just default, and then I can use a broadcast uh, out motion style, which is the type of animation that she will perform. So as soon as I click uh, say, this will send this text to the Reillusion server, and it'll ger generate a script. Good morning, and welcome to the Crazy Talk text to animation messaging service. Okay, so this script bounced back and now it plays live on your web page. So exact, it's actually very simple to use. And inside we, we, we specify, you know, the, the behaviors for the voice, for speed and pitch and everything else. So what I like to focus on is how do I work on this by myself? Well, you're going to see a code similar to this one. And what you want to do is that you want to play around with the variables for the text, okay? So this area here, this is basically what's being governed for, by this box here. So in this example, obviously, we're typing and we're allowing users to type in their own text and then to check what type of uh, variables they want, attributes they want for this particular script. Now, in your own project, let's say if I want to customize my own project like this, I can choose, I can predetermine the values that I'd like. I can predetermine the script, uh, the text for the script, also the kind of TTS voice, obviously the, the speed and pitch, and the auto motion. So if I open my project, if I open the project I have here in Dreamweaver, it doesn't have to be Dreamweaver, you can do this with any other um, text editor. Okay, I can go inside and I can start playing around with the options we have. So here, for example, we have a script for this animation. Hello. Okay, it says, hello, this is a sample code. So I could say something, good morning and welcome to Crazy Talk. And I can save this. So if I reload this, this, the text that I dropped in, into the page, will be sent into the Reillusion cloud server, create a script, and bounce back. Good morning, and welcome to Crazy Talk. Powered by Reillusion. Okay. So, here by default, we have US English female for the TTS voice. We also have the Automotion broadcast uh, female. But you can change this. We have actually a list of different options that you can use. So you might ask, well, where do I find this list? How can I work with this? 
So what you want to do is go back into the web, uh, the interactive uh, web design page, go to sample codes, and you want to click where it says API document. And right there, you're going to click on that, and this is going to open a PDF page. Now, this is the API reference guide for this interactive plugin. So it'll explain everything, how everything works. And what you want to do is that you want to go all the way down to where you have the list of the TTS voices, right about there, okay? This is a list of the TTS voices we have. We have English, female, US English, female and male, the same for UK and Australian. We have Spanish, Chinese, Hong Kong, Taiwanese, Japanese, Korean. It's a huge list that we have. So you can go in the side and you can see which one works best for you. Likewise, we also have the automotion styles, which are the type of animations that that character is going to perform. We have automotion styles for characters, and we also have for cartoon characters, which are a bit more um, um, exaggerated, if you, you, we could say that. You can see that the characters move about, and you know they're more suitable for cartoon ca avatars that you might have in your project. So what I'd like to do here is that I would like to replace the one we have with the Australian English female. So it's AU English female. So I could copy that and bring this over to my TTS voice um, part here. So I'm just going to type this in. So it's AU for Australia. Let me double check. AU English female. Yeah, that is correct. And I can leave this one as it is. So now if I save this and I reload my project, we will see that there is an Australian accent with a text I dropped in. Good morning and welcome to Crazer Talk. Okay, good. So basically that's it. That's how you use the, the loading script from text function in, uh, the, in, in this uh, interactive plugin part. And now you know where you can find the API document. And this will have this is a reference guide for all the type of TTS voices and auto motions that we have. Great. So that's it for this quick tutorial. We hope you enjoy it. And we hope to see you around using the new Crazy Talk text to animated messaging service. Thank you.